All right, so I haven't posted a video in a while because I've been doing a lot more riding than fixing. <clears throat> but uh, my wife ended up puncturing the sidewall on the Polaris, and you can see that's a pretty good gash there. Uh, these tires have held up, I'd say, really well. Um, these are Goodyear Rawhide grips, and uh, she got a rock here too, but you can see she even bent the rim. Uh, so I've been reading in the forums, some people say they patch them, some people use a, a tube, and some people, you know, say replace it. So uh, that's ultimately what we'll end up having to do is replace the tires, but I really don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm going to try a tube and a patch. Uh, the, pat the idea is obviously the patch. I'm going to try to keep debris from getting in there and, and puncturing the tube and uh, see if we can... Uh, get at least another year or possibly a, a, a two years out of it. Okay, you can see what I've got here I've got a board on the tire bottle jack under my vehicle um, This isn't something I've done before, but I've seen it done on YouTube. So let's give it a shot My vehicle didn't sit high enough. So I ended up uh, Jacking it up Putting the bottle jack under there and then releasing the pressure. So this already has some tension on it uh, See what happens my bottle jacks low on fluid. So I'm hoping I have enough to uh get the job done here okay so that side's done I'm gonna flip it around do the other side it goes it just went but I want to get the rest of it here. Okay. I'm going to spray the edge of the uh, rim with some uh, WD. That's all I have really that's uh, slick at all. And uh, see if we can get pry this thing off. Alright, what I've got here is just a big hammer with no uh, handle on it. I'm going to start right here by the stem. I'm going to push this side down. Obviously, I'm using this over again, so I'm trying not hard not to uh, damage the tire. But because I'm doing a tube, I really won't have to seal it again. Okay, so there's half of it. Okay, so I did I did find that there is a patch large enough, but I think I'm still going to use two different patches. Um, let's see here if you can see it any better. I don't know if you can see that or not, but right there is quite a little tear. And then the other ones are a little further up. So I think I'm going to use two patches. Basically, I need to scuff up the area with this uh, abrasive piece that they, they provided with the patch kit. I apply the rubber cement. Uh, Scrape off excess and then you basically apply the uh, patch. Uh, I'm not going to show you the whole thing because uh, you can read the instructions yourself. Uh, I'll be back when the uh, patch is on and dry. Okay, while I'm waiting for that glue to dry, I'm just going to pop the valve stem out here and uh, take a wire brush and uh, make sure there's no rough edges around here that could uh, be abrasive to the tube. Okay, so I've got one nut on the inside of the rim and one on the outside and I'm going to leave it loose 
This is the, uh, per the instructions on the inside of the tube box, I'm going to put a little bit of air in the, the tube, just inflate it slightly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we're going to start trying to uh, put the tire back on. It says to use soap and water for a lubricant, so uh, I used WD before. WD evaporates pretty well, so I may just go ahead and, and use that again, so we'll see. All right, so then it says to uh, leave the, the outer nut loose. We're going to go ahead and start trying to uh, install the tire. Of course, we need to make sure that the uh, arrow on the tire is going in the correct direction right here. So, uh, and it says not to use screwdrivers. Unfortunately, that's all I have, so that's what we're going to do. So let me make sure that we have the tire going the right way, and uh, we're going to start putting this thing on. All right. Trying hard not to uh, pinch anything here. Alright. Alright, so now what I need to do is tuck the tube down inside the tire uh, very carefully. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have the tube in there and uh, what I think I'm going to do is inflate it a little bit. Uh, make sure there's no creases or, or folds. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, I think it's in good shape, but I'm going to put a little bit more air in it. And then all I really need to do is bring this up. and. Uh, set this bead and inflate it and see if it holds air. By the way, you can see the gash there now uh, where I've been poking at it. Um, I may actually put a little bit of RT black RTV on the outside as well. Um, not that it's going to make a difference, but it makes me feel better. So let's see how we can do, uh, put a little air in it here. Okay, so you can see I've got WD on the edge here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a screwdriver. I just want to make sure, I'm going to stick my fingers under there to make sure the tube is well aware Away from the screwdriver and it is. Take the hammer that we were using and then we're just going to slowly and gently work our way around the tire similar to the way that we took the thing off. All right we're getting there. Unfortunately, I don't have a uh, real compressor, so I'm using my uh, 12 volt plugged into the brute force here. And uh, just make sure that you don't have any of your tube in around your bead here, because when this starts to uh, expand, you don't want that to pinch off the tube at all. So. so I'm trying to get this last piece of. Uh, bead to seed here. I'm at about 15 pounds on the cheap compressor here. I'm just going to keep going. I just lubed it up. I'm hoping this thing snaps into place so I can set the uh, tire to the right pressure. Alright, that's it. Hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, I think this is going to hold just fine. The only other thing I'm going to do is actually uh, take some black RTV and uh, kind of fill in the gaps here. You can see with the uh, high pressure, you can definitely see the gouge a lot more than you could. When I drop it back down to uh, five pounds of pressure, you won't see it like that. But there's a chunk missing right there. And there's another one uh, right here. So she, uh, she had a pretty good uh, rock. Uh, probably next year or the year after I'll buy new tires, but if we can get another year out of these things for the cost of a tube and patch kit, I'm pretty happy. So that, uh, that hissing sound you hear is uh, I'm re releasing the pressure. I'm just going to take this demo out and uh, drop it down to the proper uh, pressure. All right, leave questions and comments below. 
Uh, maybe I'll give you a status update or take a little ride around and show you if it's holding or not. Thanks for watching.